So now we can start up our Prisma Studio. And so that's just, we can type Prisma 2 space dev. It, and so we can see that there's a studio endpoint at localhost colon 5,555. We can now go to this page and we can see there's this beautiful Prisma Studio UI. And this allows us to see all the different models, all the entries in our database. We can even edit and create new ones right from this, this page. So it's, it's just a really great website. Now we want to be able to start up our backend server. So we'll create a new tab and type npm start. This will create a backend server that's running on port 4000. So we can create a new tab here and go to that page. And we can see that the GraphQL playground just loads right up. It's this really nice UI where we can send queries and mutations. We can even see all of the available queries and also the schema. So let's create a mutation where we can make a new user. So we can look at the mutation name is sign up user and requires the inputs of name and email. So I'm going to add my email, steven at codemochi.com. My name is Steven. And then we have to say what we want to retrieve back. So let's just get back the ID and the, the name and the email. So now we can run this mutation and we can see that it, it executed successfully and we got back the ID, the name, and the email. We can go to the, the Prisma Studio UI, and when we refresh the page, we see that there is a new entry for a user here. Now that this has been run successfully, we're just going to comment it out, and we're going to make a new mutation, which is going to be create a draft. So you can imagine this is a blog application. And first you have to create a draft before you can publish it. So the title is my first draft, and then we'll have content, which has some text in it. And so finally, we also need author email, which will just be my email address. Of course, in a production application, you'd never want to do this. You'd want to retrieve the author email from some kind of token because you wouldn't want to trust someone that the author email they're sending in is what it actually is. But for demo purposes, this works just fine. So we can send this mutation off. And we can see that it worked. Now let's go back and look at Prisma Studio. And we should see that there is a posts entry now. And there is. The thing we'll notice, though, if we go to the author, is that it's empty. And this, this has to do with what, with what the default code looks like in the, in the TypeScript. So let's go and fix this so it actually will set up this relationship for us. So we can go into the source directory and then the index file. So this is the kind of the main file that everything else pulls from for the server. And if you've ever looked at GraphQL Yoga before, this should look pretty familiar. We can scroll all the way to the bottom and we can see that we're starting the server and that the server is this GraphQL server where we're passing in the schema, the context, and just all the other things that you'd expect from an a GraphQL server.
So we can look at the schema. This part looks okay. We can see that we're pulling in the different types. But when we go to the resolver section, we can see that when we're creating the post here, the author section is commented out. And here's an example of why uh, Photon makes relationships so easy, because you can just use this connect functionality to be able to add an email address here, and it will take care of actually hooking up the, a user entry with a post entry. So we've commented this out now. We can go back to our TypeScript server, and we can see that it's been updated and it reloaded it. So if we now just repeat this mutation where we can just change it a little bit, it now should hook it up. So we're labeling this my second draft. We're keeping everything else the same, and then we can run it. This, this worked. Now we can go back to the admin, and we can refresh the page, and we should see a second post. We can see that there is, and we should see that it's connected. So now the, so the author is now connected.